Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a series of videos on the topic legal documents, a long awaited topic. I do hope by me doing these videos that persons will get a better understanding of this topic as it is often misunderstood by many and not done properly and as such many persons lose out on marks as it relates to this topic. Let's get the ball rolling by first looking at what is a legal document? Now a legal document is a document where two or more parties enter into an agreement and it is confirmed by the placement of their signatures at the end. This then forms a contract which makes the agreement enforceable by law. And that word enforceable by law simply means that if one party to this contract or to this document fails to carry out his or her side of the agreement, then the other party can take them to the court to seek action. All right? Now, there are various types of legal documents, right? It includes things such as wills, lease, deeds, contracts, agreements, and conveyances. For this subject area, you're asked to do um, two legal documents. You're asked to do a will, lease or higher uh, or a higher purchase agreement with an endorsement as well as you must do a contract of employment all right and i'll be doing videos on a will with endorsement as well as another type of legal document i'm not sure which one as yet all right now the guidelines and i urge you please to ensure that you remember these guidelines when you're typing if you think you will not be able to remember them, always come back to the video or write them down for reinforcement. It says that you should type the initial words of the document, specifying the name of the document in normal unspaced, as though I have it here, will, unspaced capitals, or expanded capital, which is basically one space between letters, three spaces between words, or without with or without underline okay the next point says that the, you should type the body in double line spacing or as instructed now we teach you to type it in double line spacing all right and that is what is needed for the portfolio however i've seen where you will go in cxc and you will get a legal document but at that point you're expected to type as though you're instructed but for the portfolio, we are specifying to ensure that you do it in double line spacing. Number three says you should justify the text in the document and use unspaced icons to justify spaces before right margin. All right, I have a video that I'm going to link to the end of this on um, will with endorsement and the justification is spoken of there. So you will see what it is that I'm talking about. But basically we type in Microsoft Word, our words are, once you enter Microsoft Word, all the information is left aligned, right? And this speaks to alignment. So you're expected, once you type the document, to highlight everything and just select justify or fully justify based on the version that you're using. Fully justify. And any sentence or word that does not go out to the right margin, then you use the unspaced hyphens to take out that line to that margin. And while we do that, is that we are preventing persons from adding any information to the document. As the terms suggest, it is a legal document, all right, and it should not be tampered with. And so when you have like wills, etc., persons may want to add things to it to so benefit from it. And we are trying to discourage all of that. Not we, that is the law, right? And so unspace icons are used, okay? The next thing is that we need to ensure that all figures are stated in words. And so if you have any figure, you just write it out in words. All right. Um, some exemptions are made as it relates to lease. All right. And so you may have the word with the figure in bracket. All right. Number five says type the following in normal capital letters, expanded capital letters with or without on the line. Names of parties when first stated. And so when you have a will, for example, you will have the per a person's name being mentioned more than once. So this is saying that the first time that person's name is mentioned, that name should be in all capital letters, with or without on the line. All right? The next time it is mentioned, it doesn't have to be that way. 
the day and month in the date should also be in capital. So you can start it off with capital, all right? But it must be capitalized, all right? Connecting words such as whereas, between, hereby, whenever, or together should be in all caps. Initial words, numbered clause, testimonium clause, that is clause beginning with in witness, if under seal or as witness, if under hand, and the attestation clause should be written in all caps. And finally, names of parties stated in the attestation clause, right, and that is the clause beginning with signed by, so that is the the latter part of the, the agreement where the signing takes place, that is the attestation clause. It is normally written in single line spacing and if person's name are mentioned there, their name should be in all capital letters. All right, number six says you should use right brackets or parentheses without space after the longest line in the attestation clause starting from the first line to the last witness line. All right, and an example of this can be seen in the will with endorsement that I will attach at the end of this document. And finally, we should ensure that we allow at least three clear lines of space for signature. And in legal documents, and you should try your best to remember this, in legal documents, there are no paragraphs, no punctuation marks. And when I say no punctuation mark, the key ones that are, we look out for are commas and full stops. All right, so where you would normally place a comma, you just take that out. And where you place a full stop, right, at the end of a sentence, you will just put a space there. All right, and that is it. And finally, there should be no line end division. You know, sometimes you're writing a word and it breaks into two lines and you put a dash and you, you, you continue. None of that. You take over the entire word to the next line of sentence. All right, so that is it as it relates to the introduction of legal documents. Please look out for the other videos that seek to go in greater detail now as to how you go about typing these documents for the EDPM portfolio, as well as to look at how the endorsement should be done and folded as it relates to legal documents. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. I need the encouragement. All right, as they say, encouragement sweetens labor. So please give a big thumbs up. Share with someone who you think may benefit from this topic. And I know that every person who teaches EDPM or does it as a subject area will need to know this information. Please share it with them and subscribe so that you do not miss another upload. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.